build's idea is it's able to last in there with the biggest and baddest. This is the world's, like one of the premier Glaceons in the world, one of the strongest players, Kabi Killer from Japan. Like, shout out to him, great gaming. But yes, you can be that Glaceon, you can be them, you can be world's tier player, and you cannot take down the Metagross. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking a little bit about what the Metagross build is to carry the most games. I've been playing quite a bit of Metagross and five stacks and solo duo and trio, and I've concluded some things that can really change the way you play this Pokemon. So no matter if you're playing in the central area or in the top lane, make sure to leave a like, a sub, and of course a comment down on which build you like the most. So I'm gonna tell you a lot about this Metagross carry build. The main thing is that we gotta start with the build, right? Of course, the items and of course the moves. So the main move that makes this all work is Gyro Ball. It was nerfed. I know this. I hope you all know this as well. Like it was an emergency nerf because the move was way too strong. Gyro Ball is incredibly powerful still. It allows you to probably take the least damage out of any Pokemon in the game and allows you to play one of the most aggressive play styles in Pokemon Unite. We're constantly orbiting in and out of fights with little to no risk. Yes, there are Pokemon that counter you, but we can talk about them in the moment. But yes, this is the whole bread and butter. The idea is you use Gyro Ball in a defensive sort of manner and aggressive sort of manner. You lead the fight with a Gyro Ball with a shield and then you can peel off. You could open up with, of course, we're gonna talk about the second move in a second, but mainly it's all about this Gyro Ball opening up and also like continuing the fight. You have a low cooldown still in Gyro Ball. It still does a lot of damage, a lot of surprise. It's hard to deal with. It's one of the most annoying things in the game right now. And you really should wield it to your advantage. You can see here that I'm only getting abused because the enemy has Zashin. Like, if that wasn't Zashin, I still get to play the game a little bit as the Beldum. So, yes, talking a little bit more about the build, what's the second move then? It's the, the gravity, the rise, Magnet Rise. It is actually beautiful. Magnet Rise is definitely one of the most underrated moves because of its damage reduction capabilities and in addition, its movement speed. It's been nerfed significantly as well because of course, this actually overpowered last patch, but um, it's a little bit more manageable for the enemy team. But with some good patience, with some good usage, it's definitely the strongest moveset to go on this Pokemon. You're gonna have a lot of value. Um, Zen Hitbot is okay, but at the end of the day, you're gonna see the Gyrable sustainability it's kind of way too gross, considering this is Clefable Umbreon Zashin. We're playing against one of Japan's best players in T3. And you're going to see throughout the game like that just even in some of the best players in the world really struggle to deal against the Metagross. So, going back a bit further. So now we're taking Magnet Rise and we're taking Gyro Ball. What items are we taking? Well, that's quite simple. We're going to take, of course, Attack Weight. We're going to take Resonant Guard and we're going to take Weakness Policy. Now, the main reason I'm running this moveset is because the extra shielding from the consistent damage you get is very handy. It just a little extra bit. I feel like it helps a lot in not like dying. And you can just see here, like, holy moly, like I cannot be killed. This is Zashin ordering me. This is Clefable Gravity ordering me. They're doing everything they can to take me down and it's just not working. And like with the assistance of my jungler, I'm gonna find like a huge way of comeback. Like especially Magnet Rise, you know, being as powerful it is now that I've gotten it. I have a lot more control over like what's happening in the game. So these are the um, items you want to take. And the main reason is attack weight is going to allow you to stack in the early game if you're playing in the top lane or if you're playing jungle and you're going to get a lot of extra damage. It's going to give you extra shielding. Resonant Guard gives you the big shield boost that I was talking about. It's a little bit of a nice all-rounded item without needing too much of anything. And of course, getting extra health means that your overall shields do increase. So in addition to this as well, which is very, very, very nice, um, the final out of weakness policy means that when they're smacking you a lot, you smack them harder and that's exactly what you want to do is Metagross with the Gyre Ball. You take damage and then you get it back. So now that we see the build sort of start to complete, I take X speed as my battle item. Now, of course, this can really depend on, you know, what you enjoy to play. I think X speed's fine. I think full heal's okay. I think eject button is really good too. Um, I've seen Shininja Doll, don't run this. It's quite terrible, but everything else is like pretty strong. Like I would recommend this, this item X speed the most probably. Um, when we look at Metagross as a Pokemon, the main option and the way you want to play this build is you are that frontliner for this team. You make sure you find and position yourself in front of the damage carries of the enemy team and you constantly harass and frustrate them. You can weave in and out of battle using Magnet Rise, so it's about being clever and picking good engagements. Don't force yourself in a fight where you can't guarantee win because there's just no point. You can literally walk out at any moment with Magnet Rise and a good usage of XP. Of course, pay attention to CC and whatnot, but uh, if you do, are paying attention to the, those sort of things, you're gonna find lots of situations where you're gonna be able to go in. We're gonna talk a bit about the Unite move and some of its usages, but just look at this once again. It's just like, I'm tanking everything from Glaceon. It's a it's world-class Glaceon. Like, it's kind of hard to deal with. 
Glaceon is definitely one of the better Pokemon in the game right now. But, um, like, looking at this overall playstyle, now that we're playing in front of the damage dealers and everything, we need to be wary of our health bar. As you can see, Glaceon did a lot of damage to me, and you only get damage reduction at level 13, so it's important to keep that in mind. You want to level. You want to be in the off lane. You want to make sure that you're soaking experience. You want to make sure you're taking control of the game. And that really only happens when you're getting to play on the opposite side of the map, because if they're all on top of you, you're never going to farm. You're not going to really get much value, and you're always going to fall behind. You can see here that, yes, my team has lost the top lane. Yes, I gave it up. But I gave it up to get the stacks, I gave it up to get ahead. And a bit selfish of me, I put everyone else behind, but I feel like in this case, I'm going to be able to come out on top later. And this is something that you can look to do in your games as well. Make sure that you're using and abuse the combo of Gyre Ball and Magnet Rise. They're very good together. You can use um, Magnet Rise and Gyre Ball at the same time to basically avoid the Magnet Rise getting up animation. It's very good for a big burst of damage. Make sure you note that Gyro Ball does the same amount of damage in the inside and outside the circle. It's just if you don't hit the outside of the circle, you don't get a big shield. Once you know that, you're like, oh, okay, you're a little bit more like you won't be walking into spells as much because you'll be happy to actually just use it on the spot. You can see the Unite move. How do we use this? Always use it to get back on the back line. Use it when you can. If you find any kills of it, it's very, very good. My, like it's actually impossible to grab onto this leaf here. And like with Umbreon as well, like actually really hard to play this game. But it is what it is and we just do our best with it. So, talking a little bit more about that Unite move, right? We're getting onto the backline of it, and that's when our tanking capabilities really start. If you can get the, the wall up, the Great Wall, I like to call it, you're gonna have a very good time. If you trap carries in there, make sure you hit them with the outer edge of the Gyre Ball, and you're gonna have a great shield to tank out all the damage. More importantly, it's gonna let you actually abuse them with your boosted auto attacks, which do a lot of damage. Gyre Ball and Metagross itself are like one of the strongest combos in the game in terms of like sustainability. Like you actually don't end up taking that much damage thanks to the ama amazing amount of shields you get and lifesteal as well. So it's important to position yourself in ways where you can continually deal damage but are in a position to actually avoid taking damage as well. You can see in this fight like I'm trying to deal my damage here, just going onto the damage backline to carry and okay nice my team's like backing me up, I click Magnet Rise, I click Unite Move, ooh huge and I, yeah, I guess get taken down. One of world's best glaciers. That's okay. This is sort of what's going to happen. But as you can see, that the main problem occurs to their team because it's like hard to follow up on the defense. This is a coordinated five stack, right? They're not trolling. They're not fun, like having fun here. Like this is a serious business for them. This is going to mean that in your games, you're going to see a lot of spacing in solo queue. Like, of course, you can't run in like a madman as you were used to, but play with a little bit more patience. Use the shields to heal your health. Use the ability to go in and out of fights cleverly in the game cleverly is in the world, but you know what I mean. You're going to have a lot more impact if you play Metagross with the style that you are weaving in and out of fights and you are looking to shut down key opposition members. The idea of Metagross isn't to kill their whole team. Of course, you can carry like that, but you need to create that situation in the game. And the only way to create it is by actually getting onto the right target. So make sure you're paying attention to the targets you're attacking. Make sure you're paying attention to the game state and actually find, as you can see here, I have a huge flank, so much damage down onto this Glaceon. And they just immediately have to rotate with the spears. You can see like the Zashin, he's like hard committing here. I don't even have Unite move, it's very scary for me. But you can see, I'm still alive, get to block with the Clefable. Use the Kiting pick capabilities. They should not be able to have a very easy game into you. It should feel frustrating to play. And of course, they have a very strong team. It's very hard to play for me. But I see the, and the boom. Triple ulti, you can see this is the S tier capability as Pokemon. When there is no escapes, look, he cannot, like they one shot me, but they cannot stop the rip on Ray. And we finish the game. Yes, maybe the Intellion can play a little bit better, but this is all about this build. This build's idea is it's able to last in there with the biggest and baddest. This is the world's, like one of the premier Glaciums in the world. One of the strongest players, Kabi Killer from Japan. Like, shout out to him, great gaming. But yes, you can be that Glacian, you can be them, you can be world's tier player and you cannot take down the Metagross. That is what this Pokemon's about. It is a bulky type of like big monster on top of you. And it can be very frustrating. I stole this level 15 Glaceon for forever. And that's what allows the team to capitalize and kill. And that's how you carry these games. Metagross is this stolen type Pokemon. It is a raid boss. It is hard to kill. And when you can get on the right targets, it's really gonna facilitate the right kind of games. So what I'm trying to say at the end of the day is yes, try to find your rhythm and glue as Metagross. You are a glue type Pokemon. You get on top of them and you never let go. It's very good. Remember, 
about peeling and keeping your distance with your actual abilities. You can see here, like, oh wow, getting good in, in. I'm just chilling, you know, like we drop an ulti, I'm spinning again, like I have a million health. Yes, do I lose it all to Umbreon Glaceon? That's okay. But what happens at the end of the day is I can just keep my range. I don't need to force anything. And I only force when we need to go and do something big. And you can just see here, we eventually, Kabi Killer just kiting me for days. And Glaceon is very balanced and fair. But nonetheless, you've learned here that this, you can carry his Metagross. It is great. And this Metagross build will be able to get you to new heights if you are not playing Metagross already. Metagross is still one of the best Pokemon in the game. You're really going to enjoy it. I think it's quite fun. It is enjoyable. It's a bit easy. I don't think that there's a lot of skill cap in this Pokemon. You're going to be able to learn very quickly what you're capable and not capable of. There's some tiny things you can do, but of course, as you can see, I like we don't have the biggest impact in this game, but what actually ends up happening is the impact that we had is not necessarily seen on just the raw stats. It's a scene in the next page. So when I eventually flick over, you're going to see that this is a 120k damage game. It's quite juicy. It's quite nice. And of course, it's something to be expected from one of the strongest Pokemon to Unite right now. I hope you guys love the video. As always, like the video, sub to the channel, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. All right, cheerio.